Good morning, everyone. I want to show you. Here's some watermelon. I'm going to show you how excited they get to get watermelon. Look at I want you to see Lady Jane, too. She's not... She's not doing too good this morning with that bad foot. Hey, Esther, get your watermelon. I still got these bad crocs. Look at that. They love watermelon. Now I, oh, chickens in the water. <clears throat> I saved a piece here to bring to Big Daddy. But some chickens may follow me. Where did he go? Oh, he was over there. Did he go back in the coop? Oh, they know what I got. Look at, they all came. Oh. Well, I'll put it here. I don't know where he went. I'm having a, a time with Big Daddy. I figured out why he is uh, staying off to himself. Is because of this big rooster has been picking on them. Oh, all these chickens left Lady Jane. I gotta fill that with fresh water. But that has water that they already dirtied. Now I gotta catch her. And um, I'm gonna soak her foot. If you look back through my videos last year or the year before, Jamie from Jamie's Hooked came over here <clears throat> and uh, helped me soak Lady Jane's foot. We did a video. But I got my um, Epsom salt out. The reason why I still have these bad crocs on for the chicken yard is because see I got the Epsom salt here let's go fill up that thing for them <clears throat> there's a monster monster and Sadie's over there where is she right there um what was I gonna say Oh, the reason why I still got these. Did that lock? Broken clocks. Oh boy. With that big hole in the bottom to step on a nail. And then that's. Look at. Um, is because I just. I just can't, um, I can't get myself to, I mean, these are fake crocs. I just can't get myself to spend, you know, the 13 or $14, whatever it is up at Walmart for a pair of crocs to use just in the chicken yard. I think today, I just now thought of this. You know what? I think today I'll, I really do not like Five Below. That store, Five Below. I don't know if you have it. I'm not even sure. Okay. Well, after I already filled your pool, I'll give you, I'll just. I'll just top it off for you. Okay. You're welcome. 
I really do not like that store five below. And it's, I'll tell you why. It's the music. It is so loud right when you walk in. And uh, that turns me off. But I think I'm going to go there today. They may have some fake Crocs for $5. Of course, things in there have gone up to $10, so who knows. But um, if they get them for $5, I will get me a pair to wear just for the chicken yard because these are dangerous. Not only because of that hole where I can step in a nail, but because this keeps opening <clears throat> and I keep tripping. So I'll do that. Let's see. I put out food that the uh, feral cats already came and ate. So their tummies are full. There's Sadie. And I'm gonna, um, let me see. Check monster here. Oh. <clears throat> I'm gonna heat up my water and when it gets warm I will um, get some water in a container and get the Epsom salt in it and then I'll try to catch Lady Jane she shouldn't be too hard to catch she can't run real fast with that bad foot but um, get my gloves on and soak her foot and massage her. It's that bumble foot and she's had it for a couple years. And um, I've tried just about everything. I, I didn't try any kind of um, spray that Dr. Supply has. I read different things. I don't know, but I have soaked her foot often. And I've put some um, some other kind of ointment on it that I read you could put. And I tried wrapping it. See, she's it hurts her to be on it. It's that it's that one she has lifted up a little. That one. Um. I'm not going to slice it with a razor because I don't know how to do that. When Jamie came and helped me, we soaked it and um, then we wrapped it up. And I've done that on my own, you know, a few times. But it's hard to keep her foot wrapped. I am really just trying my best. I mean, she has managed, you know, these last couple years with it, walking, running. If all my chickens are in the other chicken yard and I throw something out here, she will be the first one to run out here. Not so much today, but before. And she goes in the coop and she climbs the ladder and she gets up on things. And she was up on the porch last night, and this morning when I opened the chicken door, she was the first out. But I've noticed this morning she um, seems to be struggling more today. I'll look online again and see um, what other things I can do for her. She's enjoying that watermelon. You gonna help me with your friend, Esther? Esther has to be close with with uh, Lady Jane. Like wherever Lady Jane is, Esther is nearby, if not right next to her. So I'm gonna go in and turn my water on. You know, I live in a travel trailer, so um, my water. Where'd Monster go? She's over there. Um, is that a chicken? Is that Big Daddy? Yep, that's Big Daddy. I gotta take care of him too. 
got to catch him and put some ointment where I saw um, it looked like that rooster had pecked at him. As I was saying, I live in a travel trailer, and so my hot water, my water gets hot from the propane. I'll show you. Which is this tank. I know you see other tanks, but that one is no good. It's this one I use. And uh, to save the propane or butane, whatever you want to call it, I only turn it on when I'm heating up water to wash dishes. Um, then, of course, when I cook, because I have a gas stove. So to turn water on for dishes and for shower and for like this it won't take long to get some warm water it don't have to be hot just warm enough to dissolve the um the epsom salt so if if you live in a travel trailer if you're just starting out that is a good way to conserve your propane i learned the hard way when i first moved in because i never lived in one before i turned that switch on and I had let it run all the time. And also, I moved in, in in September, and so a couple months later was cooler weather. And um, one time, I was heating it with the propane. The trailer has those vents on the floor for the heating. And man, I went through that propane so fast between leaving the switch on for everything. And... Uh, my landlord said, don't bother heating that trailer with the propane because I'll be buying propane all the time and, and my bills are included except the propane. He said, get you an electric heater or two and just use that. Even though my electric's included, he wanted to make sure that I'm not freezing when we do get, we do get cold weather here in Texas in the 20s, believe it or not. But um, if you're just starting out in your travel trailer, a good way to conserve your propane is just turn it on about 20 minutes before your shower and the same with if you need to wash dishes. And after you've done that, shut it off. And uh, I'll tell you, I don't know, I can't remember offhand and it don't say on this tank, how many pounds this tank holds. The propane goes by pounds. But um, God helps me to make this stretch to almost a year. Believe it or not. Because I'm very careful of how I use it. Because every time that I need to get it filled, the price has gone up. That's one reason. But the first reason is because I can't lift that even when it's empty. And uh, I have to depend on someone else to come unhook it and take it to the place. You know, I usually go with them or meet them there and then fill it and then come back and they'll hook it back up. Oh, see that rooster? Sadie, I hope that's not you bothering Big Daddy. She might have bothered him right now, but I know that that big rooster's been after him. And I want him to stay over here by himself. Stay over here, big daddy. You can see. Now there's places here for him to go. Under there is shade and then there's water there. And then there's all the bugs. So if he stays over here alone, I'll be happy. See, he's going to get a drink. The thing is, is that big rooster can fly over here. I don't know if you can see a little sore on his wing. Can you see that? that? I'm trying to point to it. I don't know what I'm doing. Well, I'm sure you can see a little mark on his wing. I got a, um, the other day I noticed it and I wiped it real good and I put some ointment on it and I'm going to do that again today. 
That's my big daddy. I raised him since he hatched from an egg. Okay, I need to get my water warm so we can help Lady Jane. She is over six years old. She turned six years old in April. All right, I'll talk to you later.